I'd like to start off by asking you um, from whence this came. Okay. Um, this whole piece of play, um, well, this production grew out of um, a cabaret show that I was actually writing uh, several years ago um, when I lived in Bermuda. And um, I was just looking for some dialogue to um, create for these songs that I wanted to sing. And so what I ended up doing was having someone actually look at it and they came back to me and said, well, I think you have a play here. I don't think this is a cabaret piece. I think you'd be throwing away, um, you know, some of the, uh, I think you'd be throwing the dialogue away if you just did it for, used it for that. And so it grew out of that and um, I put it away for a while because I was telling her I don't write plays, but I actually ended up writing this one. And so it's a play with music and that's kind of how it grew. Um, when uh, Rain Pryor, the artistic director of The Strand, um, gave me the opportunity to do this here, um, I decided that I wanted to incorporate the one character that I'd forgotten before, and that was someone who had gone through life transition because their partner had died. And so I incorporated that with this, um, and that's how we ended up with six characters. And I also adapted it to fit Baltimore in 2012, because a lot of things have happened in six years, especially technologically. And so I just put these two together, and that's what I have with this one. Lisa, I think you are perhaps the most prominent uh, actress in this production of What a Woman Wants. Where is this, that kind of feeling that you portray here come from? Um, I told um, Miss Gillespie when I walked into the um, interview and she asked me to read for Rika that Rika is me. Not so much the uh, money um, and uh, part of it, but the bigger than life character, the shoes, the jewelry, the just like to laugh and cut up and have a good time. So I feel a real connection with Rika. Are you from Baltimore? I am. What you say and what you see, is this what is happening with women in Baltimore? Absolutely. Absolutely. In essence, they're still looking? Yeah, um, I have a lot of uh, girlfriends who are single and running into a lot of the same issues that we um, dealt with uh, in the play. And um, But a lot of them are li like Rika, which is why they are single. <laughs> <laughs> what in essence is Rika like? Rika is, um, she's a fun, she's fun, and she does. She likes the bling, she likes the party and all of that, but deep down there's a deep side to Rika where she really does want security from the man in her life, and that's what the money aspect of it is about. What do you think is wrong with our society? You, you, you've written a play here that really is going into the heart of our society. Mm. Thank you, thank you. So what is wrong with it? Um, I think, I don't know if I would say wrong. I think that we're on an evolutionary track. Mm. Mm. And I think that everything that we have invested in, believed in, um, banked upon, relied upon is falling away. And so I think we're in a place of trying to figure out who are we now and where do we go from here. So I don't think... I think I think that everything that we say is going wrong is really necessary at this point. I think it's we're at a point where we get to ask a lot of questions and try to address some of the things that we think need to be addressed. How do we solve this or try to begin solving this? My roots are Southern and we have a lot of uh, morals and values and way that you're supposed to conduct yourself as a lady that I don't see in the society today. Um, it, you can be who you are within um, your religion and still um, follow, you know, the, the core principles and be a good person and realize that your beauty comes from within and not so much as what you have on your body. And I think that's the big thing. It's like I noticed that there's talk about both what the man's responsibility as well as what the woman's responsibility. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how do, how do you get to that bridge? Do you have an idea? Dialogue. Communication is key. Absolutely. Um, and we don't have enough of that. Um, but yeah, you have men on one end and, and women on the other end, but somewhere in the middle we can meet. I mean, it's been done for years, like I said, especially in the Southern tradition. Like mm -hmm. that's, that's the core of our values. What do you think of tonight's uh, performance? 
I think they did great. I think it's one of the um, the, the best performances that they've done to this point. Um, we've had a lot of shakeup in the lineup, even as early as late as like Tuesday, mm -hmm. where we have still people coming into the show, people leaving and coming into the show, and so the stability. I think they're just now starting to find their stride. Mm -hmm. But I think it's the best show that they've done so far. So what are you hoping for as you come towards the Christmas holidays? A full house every night. <laughs>